you are being spied on and you might say what's the big deal you already assume that the, the apps you use the social media that you're on and your phone is being tracked by various different companies and entities right uh, everything from from your data usage to your location and even you might even get you know advertisements that are specifically tethered to you and as for the government you kind of assume that they do the same thing right but I don't think we truly understand the extent that this is happening and how private companies are facilitating this abuse of, of privacy. So what I want to talk about today is this recent report by The Intercept that focuses on, on two American companies, Anomaly 6 and Zigno Labs. And Anomaly 6 is an American cell phone company that tracks location, location uh, for several different you know, phones. And Zigno Labs focuses on the social media aspect where they monitor specifically on Twitter, what people post on Twitter and whatnot. And essentially, what they were trying to do is partner up and partner up with, with Anomaly 6's ability to track cell phones and Zigno Labs' ability to monitor social media, put them together, and essentially, whatever you tweet, they'd be able to then track your location down and send it to whoever w is willing to buy that data. And, um, and so what they did earlier on this year is that they pitched this, this software to Anomaly 6 pitched the software to Zigno Labs as a partnership, but also the American government to see if they were interested in purchasing this, this software. And specifically, they, they, they pitched it as a way to track Russian activity in Ukraine before the war, right? And they were able to, they were able to, to do this demo for them with incredible precision, so much so that they, that they even said that, hey, look, we'll do a demo, show you guys how good this software is, and we'll will spy on, on NSA and CIA personnel. They were that confident on, with their software. And so that's what they did. So that was a pitch all along for, for the, to the American government and to Zigno Labs, you know, combine our powers so we can have this massive, massive database. And you may ask, how is this even possible, right? How, uh, how are they able to collect so much information? Well, the way this works is that, you know, with regards to, to our data on, on, on uh, tech, tech, tech platforms and social media, it's not very well regulated. And essentially, um, the social media apps that you use or any app that you use, once they sell their data to an advertiser, anybody can buy that data and use it to whatever they want to use it for. And that's what a S Anomaly 6 does. Anomaly 6, once uh, an advertiser uses that data, they buy that data, they compile it into their database, and then they're free to sell it to whoever. And I mean whoever, whether it's a private entity or the government or anybody with the means to do so. And in this report by The Intercept, they talked to a source who spoke under the condition of anonymity. So, I mean, you can kind of take it with a grain of salt if you want to. But, I mean, th their, their concerns, they voiced concerns that, that, you know, they could have some legal ramifications in terms of the fact that, that Zigno Labs and Anomaly 6 would be able to reveal their data to Department of Defense users. And you can imagine how, you know, they could use their data to, to potentially you know, um, abuse our rights, uh, the rights of American citizens. And I mean, it's something to truly really worry about because A6 and their pitch to Zigno Labs, they, they boasted that they're able to surveil roughly 230 million devices on the daily and possibly even 3 billion. Now, of course, they said that to convince Zigno Labs to partner with them. So you might want to take it with uh, a little bit of, of, of caution that, that claim. But regardless, even if it's a fraction of what they're saying they're capable of, that's still a huge amount of data that they have access to. You know, so how does this thing work? How do, how do their, their, their software work? Essentially, it's, it's like, a, like a Google, Google map, right? That's how the Intercept describes it. It's so simple, easy to use, which makes it that more dangerous because if the software is easy to manage and whatnot, you know, anybody who, you don't have to be a genius to basically decipher what's going on, right? And how it's used, again, like I said, it's like a Google map. Users find a point of interest, let's say the Atlanta area, right? They draw a box around a certain area. And when they do that, the software reveals a bunch of dots. And those dots represent smartphones. And from those smartphones, if you click on, on a specific dot, it tells you a bunch of information, like where that smart smartphone has been, who it was associated with, and uh, it can even go back uh, months and years prior. You can, you can see where it's been uh, in, in the previous months and whatnot. So it has massive, massive, uh, you know, like massive, massive uh, 
ramifications because of the fact that they have that much data, that much detail in their data. And Anomaly 6 defends this by saying like, oh, the data is, an is anonymous. But is it really? Because if you're able to track people's movements, you can kind of see, you know, like areas that they visit frequently. And from that, you can kind of deduce who they are. And of course, you're, you're also able to, to deduce where they live. And if you know where they live, you can kind of see who owns that property and figure out who it is. So it's not really anonymous. They're just lying to, to, to defend, to, to cover up for what they're doing. And this opens up a, a variety of problems because essentially anybody could have access to this, to this software and have global surveillance powers never thought of before that, that, you, that you would only expect you know, a, a spy agency to have, only governments to have. But now anybody, a private company, can, can use this. And, and imagine the, the abuse of, of power that comes with that. Um, and especially here in America, constitutional concerns and possible constitutional violations. Because what, what this creates is essentially a loophole around the Fourth Amendment. And again, the Fourth Amendment essentially requires the government to get a warrant before they get uh, a warrant from a judge before they get uh, somebody's location from their cell phone provider, right? They need to go through these legal processes that protects citizens from abuse of power. But essentially, this, this, uh, what Anom Anomaly 6 provides is essentially a backdoor, a legal loophole in which they can essentially purchase the software and, um, and use it to track, to track um, any American citizen without that scrutiny that from, from, the, from the judicial branch. And that's where it gets scary, you know, because they're, they're able to by bypass that. And um, again, it puts into question our constitutional framework. And also take this on a wider scale, a global scale, in which you would be able to have, uh, you know, authoritarian governments like Russia, China, Saudi Arabia, able to use these this software to essentially spy on their citizens and crush down on dissidents. But not only that, it also poses poses national security concerns for America because, as I said, they, when they demoed this 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 uh, this software to the American government. They were able to track down CIA and NSA personnel. And on top of that, they were able to, to track down Russian troops. Prior to the buildup in Ukraine, they were, able, they were able to track them down and kind of get an idea of what Russia was up to. And they also demo, demoed this um, against the Chinese government, in which they, they allege that they were able to track down uh, a, mili a Chinese military asset and, and know their location. So, if, if they're able to have so much data like that, a private company has so much data like that, imagine if China gets their hands on this. They're, they'll be able to track down um, American personnel, American military personnel, and essentially put our national security at risk. But again, I want to go back to, to our civil liberties, because I think that's, that's more of a pressing concern. When you have the government being able to, to circumvent a key constitutional right that we have, the Fourth Amendment, and they'll be able to, to skirt away uh, those regulations. And, and we've seen history in the past how the government abuses power. You know, the government it, it doesn't have clean hands on this. And that's why we have the Constitution to protect us from government abuses. But if this software essentially allows them to bypass that and uh, do whatever they want, that poses serious problems. And, and I think you know, it's, it's time that, that Congress, the president, any, all politicians propose a comprehensive you know, privacy protection um, bill that 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 clearly states in the law that this is not allowed, at least for the government for the time being, because the government, I mean, that's that's where most of my concern is: the government's abuse of this. And and once we get protections against the government, we should also have protections against against private companies who will use this data, who can use this data to to track us down, to build profiles, and amass this massive database, and um, essentially. You know, d distort what it means to live in a, in a democracy. Because yeah, here in the West, we like to think that we have it good. That that unlike in authoritarian countries like China, we have we don't have that much surveillance. But we do. I mean, it's and it's done by private companies. And I think we, we need protections from them so that we can protect our our privacy because privacy is is one of the most intimate things that that, that we have. And um, and if we can't protect ourselves from from private companies and from the federal government, then what do we have really?